Okay, today we're looking at what I call abandoned ship, and we start with the song. Come and have your way, oh Lord. Come and have your way, oh Lord. In my soul, come and have your way. In my soul, come and have your way. We want God to have his way in our lives. Uh, I don't know what other signs you need, you know. Uh, if you look at so many accounts in scripture about God's hatred for sin, it's something that you really need to uh, run away from. Look at Judges chapter 16, verse 20. Uh, don't forget, this story is about Delilah trying to get to the source of Samson's strength, and eventually he told her his secret, which is supposed to be between him and God. You know, and he told it to a hidden woman. And look at the devastating consequences. Judges chapter 16, verse 20. And she said, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. So he awoke from his sleep and said, I will go out as before at other times and shake myself free. But he not know that the Lord had departed from him. You know, and you can see what happened. He touched out his eyes. You know, uh, in fact, it was a very humiliating experience. And this is what, what actually happened with sin. You know, God would just basically look in the other direction. You know, and that's why I titled this Abandoned Ship. You know, it's not an emotional thing. All through scripture, whenever people get into sin, you can see the devastation that it causes. The wages of sin is always death. You know, so it's actually a very fearful thing if God is not present in our lives. I don't know how we can continue to live lives you know, when God is not there, looking out for us, taking care of us. And the only thing that can actually prevent this from happening is sin. So you want to avoid sin for cost so that God does not abandon you. 